Good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Kristen, and I am so excited that you are joining us for children's time this morning. I have a question for you. How many of you have had one of the best teachers in the entire world? Raise your hand. I know that I've had one of the best teachers in the entire world. I was in fourth grade, and I had a teacher named Mrs. Erickson. And Mrs. Erickson was always on recess duty, and I would go and talk with her. And she taught me so many things. But I think one of the best things she taught me is how to love reading. And so even still today, when I read a really good book, I think to myself, hey, thanks, Mrs. Erickson, for teaching me how to love reading so much. Well, this week, we are going to hear about how Jesus is a teacher and how Jesus wants to teach people how to care for others. So if you have your Spark Story Bibles with you today, we are going to turn to page 254 and read a story about teaching and healing. Jesus was in the synagogue. He picked up a scroll and began to read out loud. Just then, a sick man sitting near Jesus began to shake. The sick man shouted at Jesus. Shh, quiet, silence, the crowd said to the man. The people did not care about the man, but Jesus did. Jesus stopped his teaching. He wanted the man to be well. Be still, he said to the sick man be well. The sick man became peaceful and quit shaking. What is this? The people said in amazement. He even curses the sick. Because of this event, news of Jesus' power began to spread among the people. So, what do you think it would be like for Jesus to be your teacher. What kind of things do you think Jesus would teach you about? I think Jesus would teach us about love. Jesus would teach us about kindness. Jesus would teach us about how we are all made perfectly by God and how God loves each of us just as we are. And the cool news is that even if we don't have Jesus in our classroom, like as our school teacher, Jesus still is our teacher. And we can read about his teachings in the Bible, and we can learn about Jesus from other people. And so in your prayers this week, I want you to remember to thank Jesus for being the best teacher ever. And while you're at it, I think that it would be a really good week to thank your school teachers or anyone in your life who is a teacher. Go ahead and thank them for teaching you so much too. Let us pray together. Dear God, thank you for sending Jesus to teach us about your love and to show us how to act. Thank you so much for giving us so many teachers in our lives. May we listen to them and may we learn from them to love you and to love others the best that we can. All of this we pray in your name. Amen. I hope all of you have a great week and I'll see you back here next week. Bye.